Uh, my name is Eric Carnes. I'm uh, one of the owners of Elk Brewing. Two main beers that we have is one is our Dankalicious IPA. It's more of a West Coast style IPA. And then uh, our second best seller is our peanut butter and jelly, which is a light ale that literally tastes like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So we have a 15 barrel brew house. We have 15 barrel fermenters and 30 barrel fermenters. Uh, so double batches and single batches. We're about 50-50 from what we keg to what we can. So we have a Mark 32 with a custom green color. We were offering other products that, you know, the growlers and the howlers, but the problem that we had is that you can't take them on boats. You can't take them on, you know, people that were going camping and stuff couldn't take our beer out of here because it was all glass. And, and yes, we have a can system, but some people want a one-off beer and couldn't get it because they were going somewhere that they couldn't have glass. So the can scene were just, the October can scene were made sense for us because we literally can now sell beer to anybody and everybody that wants it. We sell more of them than we do our howlers. Um, and actually the only reason we've kept our howlers is because it's a unique design as well. And a lot of people buy that glassware, but more people buy the crowler can than anything else. It's shelf stable. They know if they don't want to drink it now, but it's a one-off beer and they're having people come up to their house in a month and a half, they can get it and share that beer with them. You know, as a home brewer, it is so tough to bring a bunch of growlers or if you want to send somebody home with a beer. Because as a home brewer, when I was doing it, I had so much beer that it would have been awesome just to, I mean, we used to have parties just to throw beer away, basically. Or if you really came up with some great recipes, it would be awesome to be able to can seam it, save it, and then the next time you brew that beer, be able to open up the old one compared to the new one that you brewed and see any of the changes that you made because I never had that opportunity. It was just kind of all by taking notes, but it would have been awesome to actually compare the two beers side by side. Oh, the machine's easy, super easy. I mean, it's two levers.